Richie, thanks for joining us. Your first clean sheet and your first point in a fighting display. Yeah, I mean, more than a fighting display. I think at times in patches we were really, really good. Um, obviously, our season starts now with the first point, first clean sheet. I thought defensively we, we did defend a lot better than what we have done in recent weeks in terms of our intensity getting to the ball, making sure there's no free headers or no free shots in around our box. Um, so, yeah, a lot of positives to take to that. I think we should have won the game. I think we had the, the, the two best chances where Joe Piggott's about to put it in the net and I think it's a penalty. And then George Moncur, with five or six minutes ago, I think we should score it. Sam Howes, he's growing into the position, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he'll take a massive confidence from his, from his clean sheet. And um, I think it was important for him and important for the back four that we did defend properly. And like I say, it gives us a, it gives us a starting point. Um, I think in the other games, we've been better on the ball. I think tactically today we was, we was very very good. He got booed off at half time and then got booed off at, at full time, which again is, is not a compliment. To, I just think that they're pretty similar to us. They they've come down from the championship where the style of football is trying to change from last year, and they're trying to be more, you know, in possession. And we obviously with the injuries that we have and the changes that we have to make and the lack of options on the bench, um, we're not quite at it. Um, you know, they played so many long balls, so many diags in the last last half an hour that sometimes it can be difficult def- to defend. But there's a lot, loads of positives. We come here against a team that relegated from the championship who we were expected to, to go straight back up. And, you know, and we, and we look we look comfortable. There was a few hairy, hairy moments at the end when the ball's flashing about, but that's to be expected. Before that, we've got to take one of them chances. And Theo worked in particular Excellent. so hard. Unbel- I thought he was man of the match because I'm asking him to do things that, even defensively, Hamilton's a threat. We know he's going to go on the outside. We know he's rapid. I thought... His attitude, I think him and Ethan Galbraith, both at wing-backs, were very, very good. You can see he, Ethan's got the opportunity to, to be a top player. Um, and Theo was attitude, energy, you know, a little bit more subdued in terms of his attacking threat. But with, the, with the, what we've got available and and the options that we've got at the moment, he had to do a job. He, he put his head down and he, and he stuck in with it. What is it about injuries in this season? I think it's Will Hunt, the latest. Yeah, amazing. We trained at Preston's training ground last year. We clipped one into him. He heads the ball. He's got a concussion. So, I mean, I've never known any as many concussions as this. But listen, it is what it is. I still think today we we didn't get the rubber to green, but we we worked hard and hopefully that rubber to green. I think it's a penalty. It's a, it's a stonewall penalty. Um, the defender's got no interest in, in in going for the ball. He's just worried about Joe scoring and he just blatantly pushes him. But um, yeah, we're not having many many decisions go for us, but. You know, we, the only thing we can control is our hard work and I thought we worked to a man after 50 minutes on, on Tuesday with 10 men to a man we was outstanding in our work rate I think it's about 8 players now that are uh, injured and uh, Darren Pratt is he still not well? Yeah, D- Darren's not trained with us since the Monday before before we travelled to Plymouth um, so nearly 2 weeks um, Max Sanders come back from his broken so we've got an illness going round the around the, um, the club at the moment where we're not we, we've had to test the water at the training ground we, we think there's something fit up with it um, so we've tested that Max Saunders is ill after a broken toe so it just I think when we've got when we've got everyone in the pitch and I don't like playing like that I thought I'd, out of possession we was really really good today our shape was good you know we left Ekpetita on it and and we, we caused them a lot of frustration um, and a lot of needless passes or passes that were given away. And I thought we was really good. In in the long term, I don't want to play that. I don't want to give everyone any time. Um, but with the people that we have out on the pitch and then the options off the bench, it's really, really difficult. Last year, I could pick three up front to play the way we wanted to play. And then if they got tired, I could bring three on and, and we could continue what we're doing. At the moment, I don't think one game we've been able to, to play with the way that I want to play. Um, but we'll get there, and, and obviously when the injuries come back, we've, we've got we have got a healthy squad. And I have to say as well, you know, we, we're, we're still trying to get one in. The the, the, the chairman, Nigel and Kent and Lingy as well. We didn't want to spend as much as what we spent, but with the injuries that we've had, we need to go over budget a little bit or spend our budget, which, which was going to be due in January. And they've just been they've been brilliant. You know, they've supported us because. It's not nice when you start that way and you have you do lack bodies. So they've been fantastic and hopefully we'll get one in in the middle of the week. Queen's Park Rangers have been saying that uh, the interest is in Charlie Cowan. Well, let's wait and see. We, we, we do need a front man. I thought Shaq, when he come on, was physical. and um, I just think this year, there's going to be times where we dominate the ball, but I do think the level of the, the top eight, the top ten, the speed, 
you know, so speed. And, and our recruitment will evolve the longer we stay in this division and we'll build and we'll build. But, you know, I, I like Joe, he's a really, really good footballer, but we need speed in and around him. Um, so, yeah, we'll be recruiting speed. And could there be any of those casualties back for the visit to Cambridge on Saturday? Yeah, well, Dan Hap obviously comes back from suspension. Um, Prattley, we hope, we, we're just in the lapse of, of, of how he feels, same with Max Sanders. Um, I would imagine Jaden Sweeney will will be will have passed the, the, the protocol. Maybe Rob Hunt. Um, who else is there? Long term, so Drizzy yes. and then and then Drizzy and, and Dan Idea long term, Adam Thompson is long term. So that's so brilliant. We've got a, Sol, we, we hope we've we've got a positive scan where it was an old fracture, it's not a new one. So I mean Sol will guide us as soon as he's pain free, he's, he's able to play because he's no crack in his in his foot. So um We'll have to wait and see on that. And finally, the travelling supporters again, magnificent. Yeah, and we give them a lot to shout about. We need to, we need to score. We need to take the chances again. Something that we can't really control. I think everything that we can control, we've done really well today. Our work rate, our shape, um, our in, our intent was very, very good. But we need to be. You need to take those chances. You know, the likes of Bolton, the likes of Peterborough, the like the ones who are going to be right up there. They take them chances. And again. Our build-up is more difficult because we're nil-nil away from home. We know the, the situation that we've been in and we're desperate to get our first point and first clean sheet on the board. But if you go that, if you take that chance or it is a penalty and you go one nil up, you can dictate the game and we don't need to, to go forward. We can suck them on and we can play through them. But at the moment, we're not, we're not quite there. But um, we'll get better. We'll keep improving. I think both teams I have to say that they, they'll, they'll, they will get better with the squad that they've got. Um, but we will be the same when we get the injuries back and our supporters were... No different than they always have been. They were tremendous today. Thank you, Richie. All right, pleasure. Thank you.